Good morning, it's Miss Barbara out at Russell Farm. We're just having a grand time out here. We're at Chickenville. You know how you like to feed the chickens? See the chickens? Well, today we're going to talk about the rooster can't cockle doodle do. That means he can't even speak. One morning, Rooster woke up with a terrible sore throat. Oh, no, he coughed. What should I do? My throat hurts too much to cockle doodle do. Rooster wondered how he was going to wake up Farmer Ted and the animals without a cockle doodle doodling. He went to the hen house. No one was collecting eggs. The hens were asleep. <coughs> Wake up, hens, the rooster whispered. I can't cockle doodle do. You poor thing. You look exhausted, chuckled the hens. How will you wake up Farmer Ted without cockle doodle doo? Maybe the cows will know, said Rooster. The hens followed Rooster to the cow barn. You know, the hay barn you remember is real close to Chickenville. No one was getting milked. The cows were asleep. <coughs> Chuck, cluck, cluck. Wake up, cows, they said. Rooster can't cockle doodle do. Oh, my, how utterly frustrated moved the cows. How will you wake up Farmer Ted without the cockle doodle doodling? Maybe the sheep will know, said the rooster. The hens and cows followed Rooster to the sheep pasture. No one was getting sheared. Now you remember that that's when you cut the wool off of the sheep. The sheep were fast asleep. Look at them. They're all just asleep. They couldn't wake up. <coughs> cluck, cluck. Moo, moo. Wake up, sheep, they said. Rooster can't cockle doodle do. That's bad, bad news, said the sheep. How will you wake up Farmer Ted without a cockle doodle dooly? Maybe the pigs will know, said Rooster. The hens, the cows, the sheep followed Rooster to the pig pen. No one was pouring slop. You know, that's what they call the pig's food. The pigs were asleep. Oh, look at them. Cluck, cluck, moo, moo. Bah, bah. Wake up, pigs, they said. Rooster can't cockle doodle doo. How will we wake up Farmer Ted without cockle doodle doo? You don't know? Bod the sheep? Now what will we do? There's no one left to ask. Let's go to Farmer Ted's house, Rooster said. We'll just walk right in and wake him up. Oh no, look at them all at the front door. Oh my, the hens, the cows, the sheep and pigs followed Rooster to Farmer Ted's house. The house was locked. Mm. Oh my, no one will ever collect our eggs, clucked the hens. If someone doesn't milk us, we're going to burst, said Mood the cows. Our wool is so long. We're tripping on it, bawed the sheep. We're starving, aren't the pigs? Rooster felt awful. This was all his fault. Farmer Ted's bedroom was on the third floor, and there was no way to wake him unless... I've got it. Rooster whispered. The animals huddled down around him. Then the sheep 
stood on the cows. The pigs stood on the sheep. The hens stood on the pigs. The rooster stood on top. Will you please move your hoofs? They're right in our eyes, mooed the cows. We would if our friends, the swine, that's the pigs, you know, would stop wiggling their tails in our faces, bawled the sheep. Well, tell the feather brain quartet to quit tickling our snouts, oink the pigs. Who are you calling the feather brain quartet? Clucked the hint. Uh oh, this isn't going well, is it? Look at them all stacked up there. They're just standing on top of each other. They're wiggling, they're moving. And there's a rooster at the very top trying to wake up the farmer, remember? Oh my, what's all this ruckus? said Farmer Ted as he opened the window. <coughs> said Rooster, and he pointed to his sore throat. Farmer Ted squinted at the sun. It's getting late, he said, putting on his overalls. I have to finish the chores before the sun comes up, or I won't be able to see what I'm, I have to, Miss, Miss Barbara just messed that <laughs> sentence up. Let's just fix it. I have to finish chores before the sun sets, or I won't be able to see what I'm doing. Thank you for understanding. He warmed up some tea with honey for the rooster, and he carried him to the chair by the pond. Then he quickly set out to work. The animals watched Farmer Ted. Look at him, all lined up. He's never going to finish the chores before sunset, clucked the hens. Probably not by the sheep. We've got to help him before our milk curdles, mooed the cows. We have an idea, aren't the pigs? The, han the animals huddled together. Then they helped Farmer Ted collect the eggs, milk the cows. Oh, look at them. Look what all they're doing. Shear the sheep. Oh, dear. Look at them. They did it. Maybe not quite like Farmer Brown would have done it, but they did it. They helped. Helpers are important, you know. And pour the slop. The sun set. After their busy day, the animals and Farmer Ted were ready for bed. Rooster had rested all day on the chair by Farmer Ted's palm. His throat was nice and warm from the tea he'd sipped, and his feet even had a slight tan. He felt much better. Thanks for your help today. cock a doodle doo he crowed with all his might. Glad to help. Just please pipe down, cluck the hens. We're trying to get some sleep, mood the cows. I hope you're a helper, just like all the farm animals. Help the rooster who couldn't cockle-doodle-doo. See you soon.